The firm of Alexander Matheson and Sons was one of the leading makers of hand tools in Scotland. Its success went hand in hand with the growth of the shipbuilding industries on the Firth of Clyde in the 19th century and the emergence of Glasgow as the second city of the empire. It also reflected the firm's skill in responding to an unprecedented demand for quality tools by shipyards, cooperages and other industries, both locally and far and wide. Topic: <laughs> Early years. The year 1792 was deemed by the firm to be that of its foundation, it was in all likelihood the year in which John Manners had set up his plane making workshop on Saracen S Lane off the Gallowgate in the heart of Glasgow, not far from the Saracen's Head Inn, where Dr Johnson and James Boswell had stayed on their tour of Scotland in 1773. Alexander Matheson 1797 is recorded in 1822 as a plane maker at 20 5 Gallowgate, but in the following year at 14 Saracens Lane, presumably having taken over the premises of John Manners. The 1841 National Census described Alexander Matheson as a master plane maker at 38 Saracen Lane with his son Thomas Adam working as a journeyman plane maker. Thomas Adam Matheson Gradually business grew and became more diversified, the Post Office Glasgow Annual Directory recording that by 1847 eighths Alexander Matheson was a plane, brace, bit, auger and edge toolmaker. Edinburgh In 1849 the firm of James and William Stewart at 65 Nicholson Street, Edinburgh was taken over and Thomas was put in charge of the business, trading under the name Thomas A. Matheson & Co., as plane and edge tool makers. Thomas's company acquired the Edinburgh edge tool makers Charles and Hugh McPherson and took over their premises in Gilmore Street. In the Edinburgh Directory of 1856 sevenths the business is recorded as being Alexander Matheson & Son, Plain and Edge Tool Makers at 48 Nicholson Street and at Paul's Work, Gilmore Street. Topic growth of the Glasgow business The 1851 census records that Alexander was working as a tool and plane maker employing eight men. Later that year Alexander died and his son Thomas took over the business. Under the heading of Edge Toolmaker in the 1852 Thirds Post Office Glasgow Annual Directory the firm is now listed as Alexander Matheson & Son, with further lines as «turning lathe and vice manufacturers» added. By the early 1850s the business had moved to 24 Saracen Lane. The directory for 1857 eighths records that the firm had moved again only a few years later to East Campbell Street, also off the Gallowgate, and that through further diversification was also manufacturing Cooper's and Tinman's tools. The ten yearly censuses log the firm's growth. In 1861, Thomas was a tool manufacturer employing 95 men and 30 boys. In 1871, he had 200 men working for him, and in 1881, 300 men. By 1899, the firm had been incorporated as Alexander Matheson and Sons Limited, notwithstanding the fact that only Alexander's son Thomas appears ever to have joined the firm. Topic trademark In September 1868 Thomas Matheson put a notice in the Sheffield and Rotherham Independent and the Sheffield Daily Telegraph stating that his firm had used the trademark of a crescent and star for some time and that using or imitating the mark would be proceeded against for infringement. The firm had acquired its interest in the crescent and star mark from the heirs of Charles Pixley, the Sheffield Cutler who had registered it with the Cutler's Company in 1833 and had died in 1852. The year 1868 seems also to be the one in which the name Saracen Tool Works was first adopted. Not only does it figure at the foot of the notice in the Sheffield Press, it also makes its first appearance in the firm's entry in the Post Office Glasgow Annual Directory in the 1868 9th edition. Topic: <laughs> Public Life. As Thomas Matheson's business grew, so too did his involvement in local public life and philanthropy. 
one of the representatives of the Third Ward on the Town Council of Glasgow, he became a river bailier in 1868, a magistrate in 1870 and a preceptor of Hutchison's Hospital in 1878. He had a passion for books and was an ardent Ruskinian. He served on the committee handling the bequest for the setting up of the Mitchell Library in Glasgow. When he died at Coulter Mains near Bigar in 1899, he left an estate worth £142,764. He is buried at the Glasgow Necropolis next to the cathedral. <laughs> Later years of the firm Both Thomas's sons, James Harper and Thomas Ogilvie, were involved in the continuing life of the firm. James followed in his father's footsteps in becoming a local public figure. He was appointed Deputy Lieutenant of the County of the City of Glasgow and was made a Deacon of the Incorporation of the Hammerman of Glasgow in 1919. His brother Thomas Ogilvie was recorded as tool manufacturer and employer in the 1911 census. Thomas Ogilvie's son Thomas Alastair Sutherland Ogilvie, Tarso, Matheson born in 1908 took a rather different approach to engineering, however, by becoming a racing driver. In 1947 he wed the French film actress Mila Pearley. Topic Awards at World's Fair's Great Exhibition, London, 1851 Prize medal for joiners' tools in the class of cutlery and edge tools Great London Exposition, 1862. Prize medal Honoris Causa International Exhibition, Melbourne, 1880. Gold medal International Exhibition of Industry, Science and Art, Edinburgh, 1886. Prize medal Notes <laughs> <laughs>